It's now 5.30 p.m. I just woke up from a nap. I was so tired. Now I'm, I have to pass by Midtown real quick and do a checkout in the $10 million house. I also have a couple of videos backed up. I need to edit and I can, that I can upload from that same house. And then we'll head to Aventura and find, find some type of gift. She has finally calmed down and is not moving as much. She's just like in this position going all the way down to my belly button. Meanwhile, I am stuck here in Miami traffic. So I'm here at the house now and this is very unusual. They were here for one week and they left a mountain of garbage. I mean, this is like not kitchen garbage that smells, but it's like boxes after boxes of expensive items well let's see what it looks like inside they left clickers and keys right here Lots of food, table still set. More Prada bags. I'm sure they didn't leave anything. It's just so much, so many items. They must have gone back with like full suitcases, sunglasses, Another Saint Laurent box. I mean, each of these items, whatever it is, is like thousands of dollars. It's crazy. They definitely had a time in Miami. Nothing in here. Now that let's check the master bedroom. Nothing in here. Back of the remote. Olivia just came out. This is empty. Well, so it's just a bunch of garbage in the in the garage. Let's check the fridge real quick, and then I'll close everything up and leave again. The cleaners are coming tomorrow, super early, because now it's already late. And in this house, it's always the problem is that when they arrive too late in the afternoon and they don't have the actual daylight to clean I notice they clean the floors very badly so I always want them to come in the morning too instead of in the evening oh I thought was, these were all wine bottles <laughs> it's waters waters and Jägermeister and fridge full of groceries prime this is gonna make a good short video too chocolate milk steak oh nice let's 
so many blueberries. Chicken, bacon, ice cream. That is a lot of food. All right, I'll put you guys down. I'm gonna take a quick video with my phone and then I'll head over to the mall. When I was walking through earlier, I didn't check this freezer and look at this. First of all, there's a whole skirt steak here. And then this is Wagyu. It's gotten a little late now. I'm here in Nordstrom. I might get in one of these speakers. I just asked the lady if they have one of the smaller ones in a box. Actually, this one would work too. It's 120, but this one is too small. I like these. I'm back here by the speakers. They did not have this one packaged. So this one here is the only option pretty much. It's $300. It looks very nice and it feels nice. It's waterproof. This is the box right here. I don't know what else. I walked through the entire mall. I could not find anything suitable. Like, it's just garbage here and clothing and designer stores. So, I like this one. And $300 is fine. I'm now at my uncle's house in Puerto Rico. I arrived like an hour ago. I'm gonna show you guys around real quick. I really like this property because it's like on a hill. You'll see in a moment. And you have like the view of the, of the valley, pretty much all the way to the city, into San Juan. But now it's raining. While I'm looking for candy or something, let me explain you guys how difficult it was to get here. It's supposed to be just like a three hour flight from Miami to here. But with this CrowdStrike audit from a couple days ago, where do they have like sweets? With the CrowdStrike outage from a couple days ago, there have been so many delays and also my flight, which was supposed to leave on the to this morning at 5 in the morning was delayed for 6 hours so I ended up leaving at 11 so 6 in the morning and even worse because I arrived in the airport at 2 in the morning because I didn't want to wake up at like 3, 4, 5 a.m. so I got there extra early and I basically spent 10 hours in the airport pretty much. I did manage to sleep for a good amount and then I also slept in the airplane so it wasn't like super dragged out but such a waste of time, honestly. Some koi fish. These are big. Way too big for this pond, but it seems like they're doing well. I should get up there so you guys can see the whole view. I've been here like four, five times over the last decade. My uncle has been living here for like 20 years. Oh my God, I almost fell, it's so slippery. It's a big pool, avocado tree, mango tree, breadfruit tree I've never eaten one of those I don't even know how to prepare them 
and here you have beautiful view of I guess just the little towns and then all the way here is San Juan and the ocean also accessible from the roof, you have some papayas. These are getting big. And what I personally like the most about the tropical countries is all of the sounds. And you can hear multiple types of frogs from in here right now. And Puerto Rico is special because it has a has an endemic frog species called coquis and in the nights there's nothing else other than the sound of coquis which is like <whistles> like so many of them and so loud I'll show you guys later now I'm trying to get down this ladder Looks like my uncle just bought a lychee tree as well. There's some basil growing here and orchids. And he planted even more basil. This looks like a zucchini or pumpkin, snake plant, another type of orchid. Silandias. These are called air plants because they don't need any dirt. <laughs> this one has been here for a while. It's so long. Staghorn fern. When I was here for the first time, me and my brother were so amazed by these caterpillars. They're so funny. For some reason, there's always some here whenever we come. And they look cool. But they turn into a really ugly moth. A couple years ago, there used to be like a little shed or tree house here. You can see the remainings of the structure. Right here. And what's kind of scary is this super steep driveway. I've heard that twice their cars have rolled all the way before this structure was here, all the way down the hill. This is a huge strangler fig. Here's the exit of the property. And this is my uncle's office. This is a new building. I have not seen this before. Oh, it's locked. I want to go on the balcony because the balcony has the nicest view of the property now. Well, maybe from here. I guess this works so you have a view here and then of course it's better from up here but this is pretty nice even with rain oh my god my phone was so close to falling through the gaps Not the most comfortable pillow and mattress, but I'm gonna take a nap right here. The coquille just started. Can you guys hear it? There's going to be hundreds of dolls in the night. It is getting a little uncomfortable now. And I think I had a 
the mosquitoes bite me. I love this tree. And now we're back up by the patio. We just came back from dinner, dropped my flashlight to do a little night tour. And I'm pretty sure I scared one of the cookies. He's right here. This little fella. You can hear them all over the place now. And they're usually really hard to find because they're like sitting inside crevices or the bromeliads. And you would never know they're there. a lizard here I found a tiny baby here on the sleeve and then slightly further up one lizard here and a big one here focus pretty sure this is another cookie here I don't know if he's fully grown or if it's a different species He's not making noise. That's my day here. I don't know if I'm doing anything other special in Puerto Rico. I'm really just coming here for my uncle's birthday, so this might be it overall. <laughs> 